Hey guys, this is Hood Guy here. Um, need some help with my tank. I'm having a red slime problem. Major problem. Keep trying to get rid of it doing water changes, sifting the sand and whatnot. And last time you saw the tank, I didn't have, I don't believe I had the live rock in here. I got 80 pounds of live rock. I got the circulating fans going and whatnot. And it's just, it's not get, I can't get rid of this algae. Today I just put some red slime remover in there. I'm gonna see what it does. Uh, right now, the water's got a yellowish tint to it. Um, if there's, you know, any better advice somebody can give me, um, I'm following Mr. Saltwater Tank and New York Stillo on here on YouTube. They got some great advice. Um, if you got a saltwater tank and you need to know anything, I'm sure they got a video that would greatly help you on pretty much anything you need to know. Uh, that's who I've been following and I'm making this video to kind of show them and, and get their advice on different things along with the red slime I want to get some advice on these coral I have I have um, Let's see I got some xenia I believe those other things that are rocks are called polyps I'm Not sure I got some trumpet I can't remember what uh, the name of these are uh, sorry if the view ain't so great and my actinic lights just turned on. Um, and a rock full of mushrooms. Um, like I said, it just looks nasty. You see all the red slimes coming. This uh, a dead coral I have there. It's usually a bright white color. You know, it's all over the sand and all over the, you know, this is fake rock right here. And then the real rock over here is just... You can barely even tell the difference from all this, and it's all on the glass. I clean the glass a lot, so it's not, you know, taking over the glass, but it's just, it's everywhere. I mean, all my fans and all just looks bad. Um, uh, along with the corals, also, I asked the fish store on what to do for them, and um, they gave me liquid calcium and pro buffer. Said so that's all I would need. Just get those two bottles, read the directions, put it in there like it says to do. And uh, that's what I've been doing, but I mean, uh, there's, there's got to be a better way to, you know, more things you could do to, to make them grow healthy and fast and, and um, you know, that way they're not suffering or, or in need of nutrients or, or whatnot. Uh, like I said, if I could get some advice on, on this red slime situation you know is there is there hermit crabs that will eat this up is there a sand sifting you know something a fish a goby something that that'll help take care of it um and then the coral situation is there more things i can do to um help them thrive and grow and, and you know not want for anything uh, i don't have a refugium set up on it right now all i have is the the wet dry bio ball and all that and it's just you know everybody says it's, it's a bad you know algae factory um i have a 30 gallon long that i'm going to put down here to make a refugium just haven't got to it yet um well i you know I, i'm i'm not going to rent on forever just you know i'd love some advice if anybody has some all right thanks